Now here's something quick I wanted to review with you. This wasn't really part of the project, but I'm going to tell you anyways. Anytime I think there's something you might be of interest in, I'm going to show it to you. Now see, I was going to go ahead and discard these light fixtures and these ballasts. Remember I told you we probably should take those out. And in order to take those out, there's just one little, one little screw that you have to unscrew with your pliers right there. And then it slips out of its little location on the back side. Okay, you just cut the wires and then you can, you can dispose of that ballast accordingly. Okay, now incidentally, funny thing, I looked at the rest of these lights and that's why I wanted to show them to you. You see here, there's one fat ballast there. The second one is not a big fat one, is it? Or the third one or the fourth one. Now those three fat ones, those are the old style. Here's a new style ballast. And it's an electronic style ballast. And it's designed for T8 bulbs. What do I mean by T8 bulbs? You see that thin bulb right there? That is a T8 bulb. The old style bulbs are T12s. And the T12s are designed to be put in with the old style ballasts. Okay, the new T8s go with the electronic ballast. And the funny thing was, do you see now that where that electronic ballast is is on a four foot light fixture. Okay, remember the, the thinner bulb went to the two foot or three foot light fixture and that one's got a big ballast in there too. Well the thin bulbs are supposed to be connected to the electronic ballast and that electronic ballast it looks like it's a brand new well not brand new but the fixture was replaced a few years ago with the electronic style ballast it's not even hooked up with any wire nuts because there's no wire nuts on here you know this entire fixture is new they took out an old one and they just ahead went ahead and replaced it with the a new style and it wasn't working and you know what it says t12 so maybe this electronic style is approved for the t12s most electronic style ones you use the thinner bulbs. So when you go to the hardware store and you get a you get a new fluorescent style light fixture, you want to get the thin bulb ones and I think that's the only ones you can buy nowadays. I was just trying to make a point like if you've got an old style light fixture and you just want to replace the ballast, make sure that the new ballast that you're going to install is for the right types of tubes or if they or you know maybe you get an electronic style ballast and it's only rated for t8 bulbs instead of the t12s so at the store if had you have known that you would have put the right one in there's just a few things to remember because that light fixture is fairly new this one here i'm going to go ahead and save this one and i'm going to look for the new newer set of bulbs over there it looks like the looks like the 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 ones in the back look a little fresher than everything else the older ones usually get burned out or start getting black at the end see the see the last two they almost look brand new okay so i'm going to save those two fluorescent bulbs in the back and i might save a couple of the other ones that look fairly new like this one here and the other two in the back. I'll save those with that one light fixture. Maybe we can reuse that. You got a little storage area or a closet area or even uh, preferably in a garage or a shed or something like that, we can do that. I would not, however, recommend putting up the old style light fixtures again. I just wouldn't do it. They're not energy efficient first off. They cost you a lot more by the time you you run it you could have bought a brand new one okay they don't cost very much at the store okay just a few things to think about regarding fluorescent light fixtures